At this point, paleontologists pretty much universally agree that Tyrannosaurus rex is the largest known theropod, with the giant spinosaurids and carcrodontosaurids weighing hundreds of kilograms less than an average T-Rex. But there's definitely controversy and exaggeration in the Tyrannosaur camp, so we're here to clear it up and figure out which Tyrannosaur specimen is the largest and how big it actually is. I fully intend to engage in some polite debunking, so be ready. BHI 3033, or Stan, gives us an idea of a relatively bulky Tyrannosaur's physiology. He's one of the most complete T-Rexes in the world, and casts of him have been requested by museums everywhere. If you've seen a T-Rex mount, there's a good chance it's based on Stan. Stan, according to a graphic double integration analysis done by Frenoy, was 11.78 meters long, 3.64 meters tall, and 7.72 metric tons. For reference, that's close to a ton heavier than the Mapusaurus GDI, or Snively Tall's 2018 estimates for Gigantosaurus. Stan is slightly above average for an adult T-Rex, but far from the largest. Let's address a few runners-up, because having their relative masses all next to each other in the same video is convenient for you to watch. If you haven't seen AMNH 5027, you actually have. It's one of the models used by the Jurassic Park special effects team to create Rexy, although, yes, it's a loose adaptation. A rough estimation yielded 7,900 kilograms, and a more rigorous reconstruction would likely shave off a few pounds. It should still be larger than the next giant, CM9380, the holotype for Tyrannosaurus Rex. Graphic double integration and LiDAR scanning comes to the rescue yet again. Fernoy arrived at 7,500 kilograms, which aligns nicely with Hutchinson et al.'s 2011's measurement of 7,394 kilograms. At 11.88 meters long, it seems that the holotype should be bulkier than the other specimens covered so far, but it was much more gracile than either of them. Speaking of gracile, that brings me to Tristan. This beast was 12.14 meters long, scaling up from a decrushed skull, but was also very slender for its species. It was likely comparable to CM9380 at somewhere under 8 tons. Samson, sadly for science, is in the hands of a mysterious private collector in Wakanda somewhere. Maybe Shuri. She might be building a vibranium Tyrannosaurus battle droid, but I'm derailing the conversation. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Paleontologists don't have access to Samson's mighty skeleton, so the only measurement we've got is an 11.9 meter length from the auctioneer who sold him. I'd guess around 7,500 kilograms, but that's assuming a gray-style morphotype. He could be bigger. Now, the specimen known as Scotty is truly gigantic. Also, he was named Scotty because of certain beverages consumed by the discoverers in celebration. He's also the only red shirt on the Enterprise known to be unkillable. You don't go up against a Tyrannosaur with the green engineering. Proportionally, Scotty is the bulkiest T-Rex, and by extension bulkiest Tyrannosaur period, we have the fossils of. Random Dinos on DeviantArt did a great GDI study and got some impressive numbers. He's 3.7 meters tall at the hip, 12.1 meters long, and 8.6 tons. In other words, insanely huge. But even Scotty doesn't quite reach Sue, the gold standard for T-Rex. The queen of megatheropods has been subjected to a wide array of mass estimation methods in the years since her discovery, and the most recent agreeing a range between 8.4 and 9.1 tons, with Scott Hartman admitting his 8.4 estimate is too conservative. That leaves for Noy's GDI of 8.8, .8, Hutchinson's inflated 9.5, and Snively's 9.1 for us to work with. Hecking huge. But, is Sue the biggest? Is 12.35 meters of length and about 9 tons of muscle an insurmountable barrier? Or can Trix come out as number one? Simple question, difficult answer. You see, length estimates for Trix range from 12.0 to 12.5 meters, since we still haven't received a description of the material. All we know for sure is that part of Trix's cast was made from Sue's digitized copy. That means they're essentially equal in size, which is both fun and frustrating. What about Celeste? Well, Jack Horner claims his T-Rex to be larger than Sue, but with only 9% of the skeleton, we can't scale with any hope of accuracy. Okay... UCMP-137538. Maybe not. It's really just a toe bone that may have been a Tyrannosaur, and the scaling issue is much worse. Let's turn to the legendary UCMP-118742, which, by all measurements, is actually smaller than Sue, and more comparable to Amon H5027. Darius now has a great blog post about this. So, are there T-Rexes bigger than Sue? Obviously. Statistically, there's no way there isn't. Do we have those specimens? Not yet. But keep on the lookout, science is always changing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and join the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividen out.